This cruise ship tour of Sky Princess will take you deck by deck through the Royal Class Vessel as we explore the 145,000 ton Princess cruise ship that has a capacity of 3,660. It's John with Cruise Fever here, and we booked the inaugural cruise out of Fort Lauderdale on Sky Princess. So we had a few days to check out this ship. I'm going to show you just a few clips around the ship before we dive right in, starting at the pool deck. This is Lido Deck, or deck number 16, with the two main pools, a nice open layout around the pool deck. The large screen over the pool deck will show movies under the stars at night and interactive games throughout the day. The balcony you see on the opposite side of the ship there is for the Sky Suites. I really like the nice wide open stairs on either side of the pool deck going from deck 17 to deck 16. And the circular seating between the two main pools is a great place to watch movies under the stars. There are a total of seven hot tubs in this area. There are three right around the main pools. And then there are two on either side of the pool deck, just one deck above. And if you get hungry after a long day of doing nothing but lounging in the sun and swimming around, you can check out Slice for some fresh made pizza or the Salty Dog for hot dogs and hamburgers. On the opposite side of the pool is the impossible to resist soft serve ice cream at Swirls and the same station serves popcorn at night when there's movies under the stars. Sea View Bar is right off of that main pool and here's a glimpse of Lido Deck at night. Here are some of the loungers on deck number 17 as we move toward the back of the ship. On deck 18, you will find a really nice jogging track with plenty of room and no obstacles in the way, no loungers or anything. Seven times around is a mile. And center court, the basketball court, is right in the middle of that as well. Right next to the basketball court is the immersive escape room on Sky Princess that has a possibility of 700 different outcomes. And on deck number 19, as high as you can go on this ship, you will find a place to putt around at the Greens Mini Golf. And who doesn't love the aft pool on a cruise ship? This is Wake View Pool on Sky Princess. There is a designated smoking area just one deck above the aft pool. You'll find a lot of seating around this area, so it's a great place just behind the buffet to grab your meal and enjoy some great views as you eat. We're going to jump to the opposite side of the ship now, all the way forward on deck number 17, where we find the adult-only retreat pool. It has a slightly different design than some of the other Royal Class ships. You'll see some of the cabanas around the deck above on deck number 18. But I just want to give you a few shots of what this pool is like. Always a nice relaxing area. There's a hot tub on either side, one deck above the retreat pool, and you'll see the cabanas here that you can rent out for the day. Just forward of the retreat pool, you will find a sanctuary if you really want to get away from it all and find some nice peace and quiet. While you enjoy your own private space, sanctuary stewards can bring you all kinds of light snacks and beverages as well. On deck number 17, you will find the Youth Center, so just have a few clips of that here. On deck number 17, you'll find the Fitness Center, or you may not find it, depends if you're busy at the buffet. I don't judge. This place has some great state-of-the-art equipment, dumbbells, has a classroom for spinning and other exercise classes, and some really great views as you're jogging in place. If you want to move around, you can go up one deck to deck 18 to the jogging track. So let's check out the buffet, since carrying around a very heavy plate of food is exercise as well. 
it's a really nice, elegant design in the buffet. You always have your silverware right there at the table. Someone will bring you your coffee or drink or whatever you want as well, so you don't have to kind of figure out how you're going to carry your beverage along with your plate. Here's just a sampling of some of the food that I saw during my cruise on the ship. On deck number 14, you will find a concierge lounge for all suite guests. As we move down the ship, I wanted to show you one of the laundromats on board. This is what I believe to be one of the most beautiful and elegant atriums you can find on a cruise ship. So now we're going to check out decks 5, 6, and 7, and specifically everything right around the atrium we'll look at right now. You'll always find some kind of entertainment or live music going on in the atrium, uh, the piazza down on deck five, including this fantastic string quartet. And there's a lot of great comfortable seating around the piazza. One of my favorite places to grab a bite to eat is at Alfredo's. This is where you can eat lunch or dinner. And some of the best pizza you will find at sea, you'll find right here. They have some al fresco dining as well, by the way. Uh, you can also have soups, salads, and some really good calzone. So make sure you check out Alfredo's on deck number seven. For some authentic French cuisine, be sure to check out Bistro Sous le Mer a specialty dining venue with cuisine created by a three Michelin star chef. Al Fresco Dining is available here as well, and I love the decor and the mosaic tiles on the floor. The really unique and creative decor continues as we look at Ocean Terrace, which is right between Alfredo's and Bistro Sulemer. This is where you can get some sushi and other seafoods while you look over the beautiful atrium. We're moving down to deck number six now on the atrium. This is Good Spirits Bar. This is right next to the Shops of Princess, so we'll look at some of the shops on decks number six and seven. And Mike, this is for you. Stanley still waiting to be purchased. You can check out all your photos from your cruise on deck six at the photo gallery. An ocean medallion makes it very easy just to scan your medallion and it'll show you all the pictures from your cruise. Have these nice little cubbies as well so you can enjoy them in privacy if you'd like. And that's right next to the fine arts gallery. If you're loving your cruise, you can go to the Future Cruise Center and get your next cruise booked as well and save some money. International Cafe is my favorite place to get a cup of coffee. It's also a great place to get a pastry in the morning or some sandwiches and paninis during the day. They have all kinds of really good treats. This is all included. The coffee uh, is an extra cost unless you have a drink package. The custard donut back there was just amazing. And they have some great breakfast sandwiches as well. This is on deck number five, by the way, and there's a lot of seating right around International Cafe, so you can get your coffee and just relax and enjoy the beautiful atrium. This is in the corner of the piazza, Vines, the wine bar on board. And right next to that is Gelato, where you can pick up all kinds of wonderful frozen treats. And again, enjoy some live music in the middle of the piazza. Inspired by the romance of Italy, Bellini's is one of the bar slash lounges on board on deck number five. As we're checking out the Internet Cafe on deck number five on Sky Princess, I wanted to mention that the Internet was actually really fast and really affordable. So I like what Princess is doing and amping up their Internet game. So be sure to check that out when you're on the ship. Deck six forward is where you will find Princess Theater. There were two shows that took place during our cruise, Rock Opera and Five Skies. The comedy show actually took place here as well. Just outside of the theater is Churchill's Smoking Lounge. Take 5 is the only jazz theater at sea, and there are also dance classes that take place in this venue. 
The casino is on deck number six forward, and you will actually walk through this area to get to the theater if you're already on deck number six. Lotus Spa is a wonderful spa on Sky Princess. We're going to check out the Enclave, which is the thermal suite on board. They only sell a limited number of passes for access to the thermal suite, so if you enjoy what you see in these video clips, make sure you book that as soon as possible. It is a fantastic therapy pool surrounded by these nice warm tile loungers. And there are different scents of rain showers right behind that. And we'll take a look at some of the steam rooms and saunas that are right around the Enclave that are all included with your access to the Enclave. This is one of the beautiful treatment rooms where you will go for a massage and the relaxation room where you will wait uh, before your massage and you can come here after as well if you just like to take it easy. You can get all kinds of pedicures and manicures and other treatments available. There's the salon as part of the spa. Right outside of the spa on deck number five is the guest services desk and the shore excursions desk. Very beautiful design. For a taste of Tuscany and beyond, check out the rustic Italian cuisine of Sabatini's. I really like the modern and elegant decor of this specialty dining restaurant, and this is also on deck number five. We're now going to check out everything aft of the atrium on the ship. Princess Live is a really cool venue that has trivia. There's karaoke takes place here, all kinds of game shows. There's always something exciting going on at Princess Live. And I like that they took out the wall partition between Princess Live and the walkway. So you can just always walk by and see what's going on. In Princess Live Cafe, we can get a coffee, something to drink right there before the show. Ocean Front is where you can check out everything your ocean medallion can do. There are these screens where you can check out the schedule, see how to get to different parts of the ship. You can pick up a watch band or a necklace to hold your ocean medallion or ask some questions about what you can do with this technology. Just outside of the Crown Grill is this little lounge and bar area. There's often live music that will take place here, uh, both uh, piano music and a wonderful guitarist that played while we were on board. And here's a look at the space of Crown Grill, which is the steakhouse on board Sky Princess. Vista Lounge is on deck seven in the very back of the ship. It's a nice relaxing living room type feel. And this is where the magic show took place. There was also a Jim Henson inspired show called Silliness that was really interesting and fun. And here are a few video clips of what you can expect with some of the shows at the Vista Lounge. Cielo Dining Room is the traditional dining room for those that enjoy a more traditional cruise dining experience. Soleil Dining Room and Estrella Dining Room are the two anytime dining restaurants. Thank you so much for watching this video tour of the brand new and beautiful Sky Princess. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave them below. If you want to see a video tour of the balcony cabin that we had, it was an aft balcony. I'll put a link to that in the description, and I'll put it up here in one of these tiles as well. And this is John from Cruise Fever signing out. Thanks a lot.